you bucked us. Oh. Why are you just throwing an ad at me like that? There we go. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? Welcome back. I know we streamed earlier today, and uh, I had to cut the stream short so I can get some food, because I was getting pretty darn hungry. But uh, we're back, and we're going to finish this game. So, let's, uh, let's get started. Let's just jump right in. Well, bam. All right. Yeah, I never even turned my Xbox off. Oh, jeez. That was louder than I expected it to be. Get this up on the screen. All right. So... Get figured out. I missed... Poor Mudaka somewhere. I don't know if I should try to go get them or not. I don't think I can go back, so I'd probably have to redo this. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. And, uh, if I'm not happy with the score, then we'll go back and redo it. This isn't going to be a long stream today. Just letting you guys know. It's gonna be a very, uh, very short, short and sweet. Everybody, it's time to get time never come. Although I think I've already, no, oh, no, I'm three away from getting good karma. I also really don't want to redo that boss that I did. That, that was a pain. Spice Grinder. Final warning, any flying slicks caught racing through the machinery again will be demoted to sleeping in Fico Station duty. Okay. Ooh, I can almost... 
almost hit that guy. Oh shit. Literally. That's open. Come on. Oh yeah, let's just pop. What's going on, Donut? How you doing? Making some dinner? Nice. Uh, yeah, let's get this guy to come out. It. What are you uh what are you oh, making yeah. for dinner there, Donut? What's happening? Alright. Don't touch the meat grinders. Don't touch the bombs. Oh, this is this is oh. Probably get rid of that one mine, sacrifice a slig. Damn it. Okay. Should probably also move Abe. It's kind of in an unideal spot. Slig saying crapola anytime soon. I kinda hate it. But you're kinda supposed to hate Sligs anyway, so. Okay, here we go. Chicken stuff, pepper jack, parmesan, and mozzarella cheese. Five pumps activated. Next, activate third eye to add ingredients to secret recipe. Okay. All five pumps are active. We've got some mids down here. I don't know what's 
gonna be over here. It's nothing. There's nothing at all. This is probably going to be really short. I'm closer to the end than I thought I was. I really should have probably just finished this level earlier and not done a second stream today, but that's why I made this a point five. I'm actually on the last level now. To um, activate third eye, left eye and right eye must first be activated. Uh, okay, didn't I disable one of the eyes? There's the left eye. I think. Um, yeah, no, last night I found out there was an easy mode. And I stayed up really fucking late just finishing those last few levels. Because I had like six levels to do. I was up late. And I slept for a good long while today. Oh. Tricol, aren't I? I think I was supposed to use Shrikehole to get around that mine. Left eye activated. Uh oh. Next activate right eye. Yeah, this is this is the ending. This is definitely the end sequence. Oh, I think I messed up. Shit. All right. Well, I got another chance to do it. I just got three shrike calls for that. Okay. All right. Turn the lever. Turn the wheel, rather. All right. Shrike call these boneheads. And then I think I just need to crouch.
So, wait. If Vicar can see Abe and everything he's doing, how does he still not think Abe is real? Okay. Saved it for that. So now we are out of Shrikehole. Okay. Jump. Double jump. <laughs> it begins. It begins. Oh man, we are in trouble. I don't have any more shry call. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's going on? What is What am I supposed to do here? Okay. So, alright. I need to save that try call. Alright. Gotta use it for these guys. Here we go. And the mines are gonna come. Now when we duck, next one we jump. Now uh, we jump a lot sooner than that. This guy sounds fucking terrifying. Kill them. Okay. So throw some more dudes at me. Sounds like me in bed. <laughs> Just imagine that face in bed. Unlimited stick, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Putting on really tight socks. <laughs> it's oddly specific. Oh, jump. Okay, and then we got some more dudes gonna come in sick. Oh, there we go, there we go. Nuke them. Nuke them all. Okay. I'm glad these are the same patterns for the mines, because if I had to figure this shit out on the fly, I would be having a bad time. What's going on, Lozo, by the way? Hope you're doing well. As you can see, we've, uh, we've had quite a few uh, ill-fated encounters. About 463 to be precise. Okay. Oh yeah, we're we're just about done. Shrikel did nothing. Shrikel did nothing. 
I'm not a fix. Did I just... Wait, 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 wait. That might be good. That might be good. Okay. I seem to remember there being a thing that said Shrykull could take out larger enemies. And I died anyway, so I figured I would just try it. Three quarters of what? As it was. Oh wow. Zero point six well, something percent of people got that achievement. That's Morger and Aslick on the left. Hey, thanks, Donut. And to what bad karma do I owe that brings the two of you here? And that's Brewmaster. Brew, Brewmaster. Your is his name Vicar? Is a disaster. We have lost our factory. Shoes. And we demand to know how you intend to compensate us. Thank you very much for that. Stinky Pete. It's your brew that has failed us. My recipe is flawless. Do you inbreds not see that my brew is under attack? As were our operations. We barely escaped our own premises alive. And only one day after Mullock's farm disaster. Isn't that curious? And now you Oh, this is only a day later. Well. You pathetic pawns. Don't you see we've been betrayed? This is Mullock's doing. His slaves didn't die in the farm. He's using them as an army to take us all down. He's attacking us to cover his own tracks. And right now, he's attacking my throne. Blaming it all on the imaginary Abe guy. You were just looking at him. You watched Abe just tricol like 20 of your forces. going. It's sort of retcon, makes the timeline strange, but also concise. I don't know beyond Exodus what the timeline is really like, but Munch's Odyssey is coming soon, so I've never played it. a real piece of shit, but I've kinda, I'm kind of rooting for him. I'm, I'm mainly rooting for the show first league. Yeah, you 
you both brought security slings? How many can you contribute? I've have a dozen fierce and loyal sliggies, all awaiting my command. <laughs> That's what he thinks. <laughs> Maybe a few weeks or months after. Okay. And the stranger's wrath is pretty much detached. I don't think Abe is even in that one. <laughs> that was good. And we still got uh Toby and what was the other guy's name? Alf Alf. Whatever happened to Stoopy? Also, they're not in a factory, and they all need the new brew. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna gloss over that. Bob and Toby. Same mother, all of us, from Rupture Farms. What? Is that even possible? It has to be because that's what happened. But why was she? I don't know why she left us. But I do know where she is. Alive? But we were all told our mothers were dead. They lied to us about everything, and she's not dead. But she's, she's just... She's what, Abe? She's in Dolly Map. I don't even know no one who's ever even been to Dolly Map. A city filled with luck. It just ain't right. We gotta find her. So they're all we need to know brothers. Why she left us in that horrible place. Or siblings. You know why? She gave me these. Now I bet it's the origin of all Gluckens. Oh wait, here. Mullock still missing? The brewmaster, Morger, and Aslick found dead in freak industrial accident. Panic buying begins with while, while citizens plan to storm closed factories. Three top business glucks dead. Will your family starve or just cost you more? Grab cakes, paramite pies, temporarily unavailable. 
Brew shortages outrage laborers. Diminishing productivity after brewery boss bites the dust. Mullock fades into obscurity after brewery disaster. I'd love to like get a screenshot of some of these and read the whole article. Don't panic, just buy as distracted labor continues. Distressed labor continues abandoning posts. Mullick believed in flight to the Yemen's to escape firing squad. Fusion as labor continues to mysteriously abandon job posts. So we didn't liberate one place. We liberated like three places. That's why there were so many of them. But... Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you skim through it, and there's, like, actual... Like, there's an actual article written there on the page, and I want to stop and, like, read that sometime. <laughs> hey, Vault, what's going on? Um... But, uh, yeah. So, alright. I don't know anything about Munch's Odyssey, but... Does anything in Munch take place in Nalibab, or have anything to do with the 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 mother mudokin or anything because that's all brand new to me that's brand new to me um but that's kind of a bombshell like every all the mudokins in rupture farms are all siblings they all share the same mother like what the fuck's going on there and there was i guess something that abe was talking about in the very first cutscene about some kind of mother figure I don't I don't know I didn't and I guess that's what they were trying to explain here at the end but wow well there you have it, folks that's uh that's that's all soulstorm and if I'm not mistaken I think I think the newspaper bit was the the true secret ending for getting good karma on every level. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. All right. Third game from the timeline is gonna focus on the Madaka mother, which goes all the way back to Munch's development. Okay. So, all right, so Loza, without, without trying to spoil, how much of this ties into Munch's Odyssey? Like, all right, do you, do you foresee another remake or another reimagining coming? Uh, as Dark Force is reading up next. Dark Force's reading will be soon, I promise. I'm trying to get my, my layout and everything straightened out. And I also want to... Uh, I want to have the pictures up on screen because there's some really cool artwork as you've seen in Discord. Um, and I want to be able to kind of like cycle through it with button key. And I just haven't sat down and figured out how to do that. I'm sure it's really easy. I just haven't figured out how to do it yet. Um, or I should say I haven't put a whole lot of effort into trying to figure it out. I'll be totally honest. I've been extremely lazy with streaming in the past couple of weeks. Pocket sized hands. Um, but it's soon, I promise. I'm not, I'm not ignoring it. I know we've, we've passed the goal. Um, there's also three books to go through, too, so it's probably going to be more than one stream. Yeah! Is that a, is that a happy Jarek? Uh, oh, I just saw Lozo's other message. Once just development, but was cut due to time. So far, it's very much its own thing, but I can see far more of an Abe's mother versus Munch's species sort of time storyline. Uh, whereas Munch's Odyssey originally is just saving Munch's species. Okay, so it, originally it was its own thing. So then I could definitely see them doing a remake and 
and tying in a, a further story. Are you, uh... Are you gonna be playing some more Turok there, Yosh? <laughs> the Jarek of Approval. Nice. Alright, well. You get pieces of what was coming, like you get a photo frame of the Gluck Mother who looks pissed. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm curious to play that one. Um... I've seen a, a tiny little bit of it, but I've never actually played it myself. And I know it's 3D, so that should be interesting. But yeah, that. Good karma across the board. At some point, I'm going to do Vickers Labs, too. Um, maybe that is a different guy. So I guess the brewmaster, they just call him, he doesn't have a name, he's just the brewmaster. This vicar looks way different. But uh, I think, uh, I think Vicar's lab is going to be for another time. I think that one actually plays a bit more like Exodus does too, so I am kind of curious to try it out, but... This is only meant to be a, a, a little, nice little bow. In the Soulstorm playthrough. So, we are gonna wrap things up here. Punch is interesting. It's far, far more goofy than the other game in the series. If they did remake it, I can very much see not a 3D remake, but more this for a Munch remake. I don't want to say that I'm against a 3D remake because I've not played much. It might play very well. Um, but if they were to go for something like this, I would be curious to see how they improve it, because it might have been, it might have been you, Lozo, that told me that, um, Soulstorm, they kind of changed up the way the game was going to play very late in development, which is why the platforming was super jank, um, and, like, some of the collision detection was just off. Like, way off. Oh. My stream is starting to shit the bed. Hold on. Oh, it's because my browser's open. That's probably why. Yeah, let's go ahead and close that. Um. Much better. So, I mean... I'd, I'd love to see some refinement because I like some of the ideas here. I like the idea that you have an inventory and you can craft stuff like that worked perfectly fine. And it wasn't complicated. You know, you had like maybe 12 different things that you could craft and they all had their own individual functions and some of them were upgrades to other things that you could craft. Fine. You didn't even have to touch that stuff. It just, it was fine. Um, but it definitely, it definitely needed some refinement. It, it needed more time in the oven. And I think actually from what I've read, that's, that's universal. Everybody is saying that. Um, but yeah, overall, like, yeah, you get past the jank, you get past the glitches and the crashes that were keeping me from beating the game for so long. Everything else was great. Uh, it was a very, very dark take on the series. And I know that the game's always, or the series has always been pretty bleak, but there's always been like those, you know, overtones or undertones of humor, you know? like. Oh, there's a dedicated button to make Abe fart, and in, in Exodus, you can drink Soulstorm brew, and your farts explode, and you can possess your fart and fly it around the screen, and it goes... And then it just turns into a, a remote time bomb. And that shit... Great, you know? This didn't have... 
any humor that was in this game was very subdued and was very much overshadowed by the overall, like, depressing atmosphere. And it worked. Like, I wasn't necessarily sold on at first, but it worked. This is not a happy universe. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Really, uh, really like what they did with the story there. And a lot of things just make sense. Like, you've got one Mudokan who can just chant to possess Sligs. None of the other ones can do it. Otherwise, they'd be doing it. They would have never been taken over. Um. Oh, this is too shit. much! <laughs> You'll need it to get the bugs out of your head. What's going on, huh? Thank you for the ten months there, sir. You're my boy. Thank you very much for that, I appreciate it. Um But uh But yeah, no, you'd never have an uprising. Or you you you'd never be able to, to enslave them, like if they could do that. So the fact that the whole world doesn't believe in a supernatural Mudakin who took down an entire factory makes sense. In fact, they're blaming it on Mullick and saying that he's just trying to claim insurance payout after killing his entire factory makes sense. The fact that the other Gluckins don't understand and are jumping to conclusions and, oh no, he just he didn't kill his factory workers, he formed an army. They're like jumping to their own conclusions trying to connect all the dots because they don't comprehend what's happening, even when it's right in front of them. Like, really like how they they grounded everything in a sense of reality like that. Like, ah uh, man. I don't know what else to say. It was just it was really really cool. I just really wish it was a more polished experience because I I shit you guys not. I was sitting here just smacking my controller against the I actually thought I broke my controller at one point because of how frustrated I was getting with, like, just bugs and crashes and shit like that. Like, stupid jumps that are really, like, should be really doable, but because of the way mechanics work, you gotta, know, like... Uh, it's tough to describe, but... Yeah. Also, I don't know what Meals on Wheels is, but... I'm gonna find out when I play Munch. I don't know when that's gonna be. It might be next, I might play something else. I haven't really decided. But uh, that is all for now, folks. I do appreciate y'all hanging out and uh, stopping by for this little mini stream. But we, uh, yeah, it was only intended to be a quick one. So let's see. Let's see if anybody is online. Ooh. Might read Pixune, but there's somebody playing. Ooh. Who's this? Who is this? A VTuber playing Dark Forces 2. Having a good time. <laughs> yeah, you did, Blue. Chicken straps! Ads, come on. I just want to see if the person's cool or not. I, I think we're going to end up raiding this person anyway, but I want to see, like, how talkative they are. Oh, he's, like, right at the end, too. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. Alright guys, we're gonna go say what's up to Shining Heart. Let's see. Make sure I got that right. Who is playing some Dark Forces 2. So I will see you all there. Thank you all once again for all the uh, support, all the resubs and the follows today. Uh, it's, 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 I mean, I can, I really need to stop slacking off on my streams, but it's good to know that you guys are still there. <laughs>
stream another hour for 2,000 points. Oh, man. I'm, uh, I'm gonna refund those points, Boosty. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll catch y'all next time. And, uh... Bye.